Hey, welcome to the Pop Culture Cafe. I am Huck, and man, it is a good day out today. Uh, look, I've had a long week, y'all. I work long hours, man. I get done at like at around 7 p.m. I'm just too wiped to get out and, and go shopping, especially to places like Best Buy, because that's almost like 20, 25 minutes away from my house. So uh, it's the weekend for me right now. It's early. It's a nice day. So uh, let's get out, go to a few places, shop around, and see what kind of goodies we can find. You guys ready? Let's go. Before we slip inside, y'all, if you're new to my channel, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and follow me on all my social media. Now, first thing is first, whenever I come into, uh, oh man, whenever I come into Big Lots, I always look for my uh, Pure Leaf Tea. As you can see, the giant bottles are always sold out, gang. That is a total bummer. But hey, let's go ahead and check out some movies, y'all. They have a new display, so let's dive in. Well, we are seeing some brand new titles here today. Well, I spoke a little too soon now. These are all the usuals. All right, let's continue the treasure hunting here. A lot of the same titles I see here quite often. So, you know, not a huge turnaround at this place. Not a ton of new stuff. Seen that before. Battleship, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what's this? Oh, four weddings and a funeral. Nah, not feeling it. What else we got? Oh, Reese Witherspoon, Home Again. Never heard of it. Uh, more straight to video Bruce Willis movies. Man, there has been way too much of that stuff lately. Oh, Jack Ryan. The guy got the nice uh, 4K set of all the Jack Ryan movies, so I think I'm all done with my Jack Ryans. Oh, look at this. That is wicked. Oh, Dean Cain, who played Superman in Lewis and Clark. See, I, I love how. Dean Kane's name is at the top here, but it doesn't appear on the cover at all. Let's see, you see on the back there? There's the shot of Dean Kane, looking very painful. <laughs> Poor Dean Kane. I'm not scoring a ton of, there's a few new things, but I wouldn't say a ton of new things. Bad moms, one more row, and we'll be done with this rack. All right, let's head to the next rack. Okay, that's what we got down here. A little uh, Captain Marvel. Oh, tons of Captain Marvel. So, wow. That's a lot. Seven bucks. Good deal. Oh, a lot of little. Okay, so this is where they're just keeping a lot of their uh, surplus stuff. So, I think we're done here. Unless I find one other nugget. Nope. All right, guys. I think we've seen what we need. So, let's move on. Okay, so Big Lots was a little bit of a bust because, you know, I go in there often enough that they don't tend to do a, a lot of title turnover very often. Sorry for the music there. I got music playing here. So uh, we're just gonna keep on walking, head up here to my local thrift store called Wimby's, get inside and see if they have any new stuff. So let's go. Okay, I kind of dig this Wimby's here. They have a really nice uh, Blu-ray display. Um, they update titles fairly often. Oh, check this out. Huh, I've never seen this. The Lone Ranger with Johnny Depp and Army Hammer. I think uh, Disney Plus even pulled this off of their streaming service after the controversy with Army Hammer. So, you guys let me know in the comments below if I should if I should pick that up. I'm going to pass on it today. But uh, And here's their other tub. They, they sort of have this under some shelves. Uh, and they just got it all laying here. Good titles, you know. Um, a lot that I have. But, uh, you know, they got, they got Proposal, The Mummy. Um, yeah, look at this, uh, Argo, Silver Linings Playbook, yeah, a good collection of Blu-rays for sure. Now, their DVDs are $2 each, uh, actually they run a dollar to $2, so you just sort of got to kind of look around and, and see which ones are what? I think most of them are a dollar, they're like 99 cents. And uh, what I love about this is once in a while, uh, they have uh, older movies. Check this out, Action Jackson, that's a great Carl Weathers movie. Bullworth with uh, Warren Beatty, that was pretty good. Clerks 2, I actually don't know if I've seen Clerks 2. I've seen the first Clerks, I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, they got all, and they even have it broken down by genre, which makes it super easy 
to look for something specific. So if you're in a comedy mood, you come to this little section right here. Uh, but I will say this place more than many places. Look at that. They have classics and westerns. Shout out to my buddy Ken at Mid-Level Media. Look at that little tiny western section for your uh, month of January. <laughs> uh, not a ton, though. Not a ton of westerns. But, um, yeah, nice dramas. And, okay, so these two right here, these two hot shots are here all the time. They've been here for as long as I've been coming. Um, this one is water damaged. If you see the artwork here, it's very wrinkly. So this one's definitely been dropped in water or something. And both discs are super scratched. Let's see if I can show it to you. Yeah, you can kind of see the scratches right there. And so as much as I'd love to add this to the collection, it's just too wrecked. So let's move on. All right, gang, let's go pay a little visit to Walmart. It's been a while, but check out these Valentine covers, man. These are pretty sweet. It's all DVDs, of course. I'm telling you, if you are still a DVD fan, and I applaud you if you are, look at all the good stuff that's out there at cheap prices. I tell you, man, I, I kind of wish I was still, you know, obsessed with DVD because these are nice. Somewhere in time, good movie. Check out all these old classics. Don Knotts, Doris Day, Rock Hudson, Singing in the Rain. It's a nice Wizard of Oz cover. Wonka, Casablanca, Little Shop, James Stewart collection. And then look at these little limited edition artworks. Very cool as well. I'll tell you, so many variant slip covers. There's a Spider-Man uh, on Blu-ray, special edition. And these bad boys. Good covers, man. Digging them. Now, as far as new stuff here, um, they got this special Walmart exclusive Dune case. Um, trying to figure out what it is. Uh, oh, <laughs> Okay, so if you've seen the movie, this is a box that the lead actor, he puts his hand in, you know, it's like a test. So really, that's the special edition? Pass. Okay, that's just silly. Now here's another similarly sized box for the new James Bond, No Time to Die. It's not 4K though, it's just Blu-ray. And I have no idea, it has a keychain, but why would the box be so big? It doesn't say on the back here at all. There's no shot of what it looks like opened up. So what, why is it so big? Is it just supposed to look like a book? Yeah, I'm going to pass on that too. That's just weird. Now here we go. We have found the Valentine's covers. Obviously some are missing. I wonder if somebody hoinked them. But uh, yeah, they're still on a lot of these uh, DVDs. A lot of cartoons, which is very interesting. I guess... Uh, People think love equals uh, family movies and cartoons, so maybe I'll just tell my wife to pick up one of these crazy animated or movie collections. There's nothing says love like Bumblebee. However, if, if she did get me this Scooby-Doo complete series, I would not be upset. Let me tell you. Check this out. Ooh, loaded with special features. Okay, honey, if you're watching this video, uh, note to self, Scooby-Doo means I love you. Now, again, here you are. If you are a DVD fan, look at the great deals, man. These prices are insanely cheap. Look at this. Uh, Westerns here, 10 movies for $20 or $25. Comedy, Judd Apatow, sci-fi collection. You even got some Westerns, man. Oh, sweet. Look at this. And when I was done shopping for movies, I found this killer toy. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Welcome back to the uh, Pop Culture Cafe Home Edition. Uh, I did a lot of running around today and uh, just didn't feel like sitting in the car and recapping today in the car. So I figured I'd come back here, sit down, kind of chill, be relaxed, wear my 430 movie t-shirt. Uh, big fan of the uh, podcast, if you haven't heard of the uh 4.30 movie, I highly recommend going and checking it out. These uh, these guys do a great job of curating a week of fantasy film. Um, like they'll pick a topic, whether it's like um, robot movies or love movies or disaster movies, and they'll pick their top five, you know, movies that you'll watch that week. Anyway, you just go check it out. It's an awesome, awesome podcast. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I did manage to get a little bag right here uh, that we'll go over there. Um, so let's just jump into it, shall we? Uh, I didn't really get anything from um, 
big lots because a lot of the titles I saw there, while nice, I've already seen them before and I pretty much own most of the ones that I wanted there. So I did go into the uh, the thrift shop Wimby's though <laughs> and I'll tell you a little story about Wimby's at the end here. So, um, so I found, okay, so here we go. Uh, the first thing I found was a... Uh, a documentary on Walt Disney that I've had in my uh, Amazon cart for a while and it's like you know it's way more pricey than a dollar but it's called Walt Disney the man behind the myth and um, I've been eyeballing this for a while I hear it's really good so I um, just wanted to check it out you know for a buck can't go wrong there and speaking of checking out legends a documentary on some legends here here's another one on Sidney Poitier I found um, and it's called uh, Sidney Poitier One Bright Light and, you know, we just lost this master of a thespian, so I thought I'd check this out as well and kind of kind of go, go down the, the path of these two great people. Now, I'm not a huge Woody Allen fan, nor do I have a lot of Woody Allen stuff. However, <laughs> thanks to the dollar store, I don't know why a lot of Woody Allen movies have been popping up at the dollar store, so I got some on my shelf back there just so I can watch them, educate myself on Woody Allen, watch them for a dollar, and I'll probably not watch them again. Like, I, I have kind of seen his stuff, and I, I don't tend to want to revisit Woody Allen stuff. So, believe it or not, because it beats Star Wars, to this day I've had a grudge against this movie, Annie Hall. I know, get over it. Well, here it is. I'm about to get over it. Uh, my wife has seen it and highly recommends it. So, um, I'm, I'm about to find out what the hoopla is about Annie Hall. So for a dollar, it'll join the Dollar Tree Woody Allen titles, and I can go through those. Now, now this, I know it's, um, I think it's coming out on 4K. It's probably got a Blu-ray, and I wasn't a big fan of this when it first came out. I just wanted to kind of check it out, revisit it, and see if I wanted to upgrade, and that is From Dusk Till Dawn. Uh, when I saw it, I wasn't a huge fan. I didn't get what the hoopla was all about, but it is pretty loaded here on the back. It's got a lot of bonus features and stuff. And it is a, a two-disc edition. And I, I checked out the discs, and there's no scratches. So uh, I'm going to give this another chance. And that way, if I somehow actually have turned the corner and I, and I love it again, or for the first time, uh, then I'll upgrade whenever that comes out. Um, now, let's see. I'll, 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 I'll do this one. So Maltese Falcon. I know I've probably seen this in passing on television a long, long time ago. And I know there's a uh, criterion of this and there's a Blu-ray of this. But you know what? Like like these, I just want to check it out. I just want to check it out and see. Because, you know, some things are kind of a one and done. Some things you go, man, that was a great movie. Glad I saw it. I don't know if I want it in my collection. So this is going to be the Maltese. And I don't often find, like, classic films like this at these discount places usually it's a lot more mainstream stuff so and finally the last one i'm going to show you guys is silver linings playbook loved this film the performances were fantastic thought jennifer lawrence absolutely earned that oscar thought bradley cooper should have won as well um so yeah it's got you know er, got a nice slip cover on there too it's not too too beat up and uh, the discs look great so there it is that's that's the haul that i got today from tooling around guys but i'm going to tell you about the miss that happened to me today. So I had to step out of the um, <laughs> the thrift store to take a phone call because I don't like talking in the store. It's, it's so annoying and rude. So I go outside, take the phone call for, I don't know, five minutes, certainly less than 10 minutes because I was going to go back in. And I don't know if you saw the, the Blu-ray tubs on the floor that, that you dig through, they had um, the proposal with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds, had the slipcover in mint condition, looked great, and Betty White's in it, you know? And I thought when I was out there, you know what, for Betty White, I'm gonna go back in there, grab the proposal, I've never seen it before, four bucks at this place is how much their, their used Blu-rays are, and uh, I go back in there, and I kid you not, it was gone. Let me tell you, I've gone into this place for months, I've seen that movie sitting there for months, uh, months. And I go in there today, decide to pick it up, and the brief moment I step out to take a phone call and come back in, it is bought. <laughs> come on! So now I got this, this bum out thing about that movie that I missed, so now I'm sort of hell-bent in finding the movie. Even though I've never seen it, now 
don't know if you guys have uh, go down that path, right? Like you go to get something and then suddenly it's gone and you wish you grabbed it when it, you had the chance. Or maybe there's something on Amazon that's on sale and you put it in the cart at night, you go to sleep, you wake up. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to buy it. And then it launched back up to full price. You're like, oh, why didn't I grab it last night? So yeah, that, that, that happened today. Anyway. All right. So that is it today, guys. That, oh, wait, that is not it. So aside from the movies, I picked up this cool toy collection. Check this out, man. This is from the Mego collection. Uh, they do these great 8-inch figures. And they did one, one for uh, Young Frankenstein. So there's the old you know, Peter Boyle's Young Frankenstein and Gene Wilder's um, Dr. Frankenstein. And uh, these are just fantastic looking. Absolutely very cool. So I couldn't pass that up. Had to add me some... Uh, young Frankenstein figures to the collection. So yeah, so that was my little bonus. You probably saw that in the video. So there you go. All right, now that's going to do it for today. Guys, thank you so much for checking out my video. If you're new to my channel, hop down there, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and hit that little bell notification button so you get notified the next time I do my next video. Uh, once again, thank you all so much for checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you later.